Hi there, are you trying to improve your audio qualities inside your videos? Then this might be a video for you. In this video, I'm going to showcase how to use plugins inside vMix, but don't worry, we're also going to take a look at OBS as well. Now, what is a VTS plugin? Now, these are how they look like in various designs. They come with different knobs, and as you can hear, the sound is changing as I'm tweaking the things on these knobs. As you can hear, I'm speaking, and various strange things are happening to the audio qualities and audio level on the microphone you're listening to right now. And if you want to go a little bit crazy and implement some strange reverb or echo effect, there are some plugins for that as well. Let's actually deactivate that one because it sounds crazy. Now, these plugins don't exist in the real, they are only digital as plugins, something you add to your computer. And these knobs are only here to basically try to assimilate reality. These plugins are made usually by musicians for musicians, plugins for guitars, pianos, and maybe a saxophone. They are plugins for vocal songs and they're also plugins for podcasts. And that's kind of what these two plugins are. All right, we're inside vMix. Let's click on this little cogwheel for my microphone. Let's click on the audio settings and let's click on this thing, plugin. And here you can see the plugins that I have. And if I click on this thing, we suddenly have the really annoying sound effect. And if you click on this plus sign, you have more possible plugins that you've downloaded or purchased and installed onto your computer. So we could, for example, go, no, 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 that one. Let's grab this one. And we have some other more plugin options. Let's remove these two by clicking on the, on the minus sign. Inside OBS, I have my microphone audio input capture here. Let's side click it and go to filters. And here you see the VTS, I will actually show you. Click on the plus sign and down here on the bottom, you will find VTS2 plugin and OK. And here you can change the plugin to various plugins that you've downloaded, purchased and installed. So where can you find these plugins that can change your vocal sounds to either sound really creepy and or really dark? You download them, either you find them for free or you find something that you have to purchase for money. They are usually made by some companies that are trying to sell plugins and usually they create a free version that is decent and functional. All of these that you're currently looking at are free, but then they also make an upgraded version that you have to purchase for money with more features and maybe some better tweaks to them. This is something you can search on, for example, Google. Here I've written VTS plugin limiter free. And yeah, you can also just add download as well, of course. And then you just scavenge around looting on the internet, trying to find plugins that you believe are safe to download that you think you need. But this is where the true magic happens and where vMix is just so much more dominating compared to OBS. Let's go up here to the settings in the top right corner and click on it. Then this little menu will showcase itself and I will help you out by pointing it out. Click on shortcuts. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have a bunch of shortcuts. Now let's click on add and let's go find and let's go M for this example, M on my keyboard, function. Go to audio and scroll down to uh, audio plugin show. Let audio and then audio plugin show. Click on that. Then click on the, here is my, here's my number four audio input one. And then we need to select a value. Let me explain what the value means. Inside of my audio input one, I have four different plugins from top to bottom. So my DC1A3 is value one. My Rogue Rider 3 is value two. So let's actually go for a two here. Let's make it local and that's okay. And that's okay. So let's try it out. Let's see what happens when I click on the M key here. Well, then suddenly the Rogue Rider 3 pops up. 
and now I can only hover with my mouse over the different knobs and tweaks and I can change the audio by simply scrolling on the mouse wheel to make it really efficient and fast to change these little variations on the plugin. And this plugin could be super handy when you want to tweak the audio setup during a live stream. Literally, this has happened to me. I had a guest in one of my live stream podcasts and suddenly, for a reason that I don't really know, that guest had to change his microphone because something suddenly went wrong with it. He changed it, got a new microphone with completely different audio in structure in, in its microphone. So his, his entire audio went completely different. So I had to, with my hotkey setup, open these different plugins that he I had put on him on his audio source where he came from and just tweaked it on the fly during the live stream. And with some amazing setups, for example, on a stream deck like this, I can have my different, I don't know if you can see this, this is a better zoomed in version for you. So this is currently what's on my stream get my Elgato stream deck right here. I have pictures of the specific plugins and it, when I click these buttons, the plugin will appear and that's this plugin is specific. So I have different players here. So I have player C and his plugins. I have player B and his plugins and I have player A and his plugins. So I can individually tweak different guests in my live stream on the fly because clicking this button, the plugin appear and I take my mouse and I tweak it with my mouse, mouse wheel during the live stream. I would also like to showcase another shortcut in vMix that is plugin on and off. So you could basically have a hotkey on your keyboard or maybe a hotkey on your Elgato Stream Deck or any other MIDI controller. So when you click on a specific button, you turn off a specific plugin on a specific guest or a specific audio source or another hotkey and you turn it on. And this is where you could get several different equalizers. And you can look up what an equalizer is or compressors or noise reductors or limiters and you tweak them differently. And depending on how you want uh, the guest to sound, if you have a spontaneous guest, you can sit there and just click on and off on different equalizers and different compressors to just find where you find a perfect hit. Because all guests have unique and strange microphones that you can't predict. This was a video about plugins and a short tutorial about how to set them up in your vMix production with some hotkeys to automate your live production. I hope you found the answers to your question that brought you to this video. And if you didn't, well, I hope you found the video entertaining. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the description below of the video and I will answer them.